with all of our concern about the illegals, it's very interesting, in the Old Testament, sojourners and aliens in the land. There was instruction in the law about how to treat them. And the instruction in the law about sojourners and aliens is to be kind to them, treat uh, them kindly, don't oppress them. I think the idea, and I know the response from my conservative brothers and sisters here, I know. I hear it on the talk show radios all the time. But how about the ones who are here illegally? Those illegal sojourners and aliens. And uh, uh, I think the idea in the Old Testament is not even entertained. I mean, they were just sojourners and aliens. They were foreigners. You were to treat them kindly. You are to uh, uh, help them. You are to leave some of the uh, uh, grain uh, unharvested in the field for the poor, for the widows, and the one who sojourns among you rather than treating uh, non-nationals severely and kicking them out, the law said to treat them kindly. And I am opening up a Pandora's box here and I can see the hand starting to go up and I understand why. I would just say this, dear students, you need to factor in the teaching to be kind to sojourners and aliens in this issue. I know that it's complex, uh, but you need to be aware of that. I, I think I used to wave that flag much higher than I wave it now, but when, when, when I saw that teaching about treating the sojourners and the aliens kindly and not oppressing them, I sort of like mellowed a bit. I think of the day laborers out on the corner of San Fernando and, and, uh, and, and uh, Sierra Highway. Uh, when I come in from that direction, I see them. Santa Cruz wants to get rid of them. They're an eyesore. Our beautiful white suburb of artificial Ken and Barbies living all over Valencia is being marred by these uh, dirty people uh, and uh, day laborers. Uh, have you ever thought what, what, what recourse a day laborer has if at the end of the day the guy chooses not to pay him? You ever thought about that? Is he going to go to court in Santa Clarita? Is he going to hire a lawyer to get his pay? Nada! No! He's got no recourse. Uh, he might be legal, he might be uh, uh, illegal. Particularly if his papers aren't in order, he has no recourse. And some of you would say, eh, serves him right, lawbreaker. James says in James chapter 5, verse 1 following, You rich people, you hire these people who mow your lawns and mow your grass, and you withhold their pay at the end of the day, and they have no recourse but to call out to God. That's the only recourse they have. And uh, I think reading that, I, I, it gives me another picture uh, of the day laborers. Oh, well, they're just getting that money so they can go home and drink their tequila. My guess is that they've got a uh, a wife and a child there who would like some milk to be bought on the way home from work uh, with the money you get for that day because we don't have any money from the previous day. And James says uh, they need their daily pay and, and you're withholding that. Now I'm not saying everybody that hires them withholds their pay. I'm just saying the truly poor are those who not only have no money but they have no recourse. They have no recourse but to cry out to God. And we are to treat them in a kindly way, whether they are aliens or not. Okay, well, I've got off my uh, soapbox. I hope that you won't just condemn me for being liberal, but you would wrestle with the biblical text in this regard. Okay?